Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of a little bit of everything and we're going to do some talking about a few things also. Alright, so let's start with the unboxing because I think that's probably what most of you guys want to see. We have four packages. It's not a whole lot of stuff, but it's some stuff. So we're going to unbox this stuff first. Also, by the way, I apologize for wearing a Captain America shirt. I know he's not the coolest superhero. I'm not a huge fan, and especially now that he's fighting Iron Man, even though I think I'm going to side with Cap on this one in the movie. I don't like the fact that he's fighting Iron Man. Anyway, okay, let's talk about this. Maybe we should talk about the Batman Superman trailer also. Maybe. I don't know. So this package, let's open this one up. It is from... Let's see who's it from. It's from... Well, it's technically from Bluefin, but practically speaking, it is from the uh, the guys over at True Force with the Mega Man X figure. So let's take a look at this guy. I know he's been out for a while, especially if you saw him from Comic-Con, and I reviewed the New York Comic-Con one already, but this is the regular X, so we're going to take a look at him. I'll be reviewing all these figures very soon, some of them even as early as tomorrow. So, there's X. He comes in his nice white paper. And uh, we don't need the paper, though. We're going to open it up. And I don't know if I mentioned it. I think I might have for the Comic-Con one. I love the packaging for this guy. I know a lot of people like window boxes. The flap is nice. The window box is really nice, too. So you get the whole figure in there. Let me hold that forward just so you guys can see it. And I'll adjust the camera so that you can actually see it. Can I hold? I can't hold it straight. Oh, I'm doing it backwards on, on the computer. There, you should be able to see it mostly. Really nice packaging. I love the way they have it on the black blister. That's very good, if you ask me. Alright, let's. should we open it? I think we should probably just open it a little bit so we can look at it briefly even though we pretty much know what it's going to look like. Let's uh, let's do that. And then I won't have to open it when I do the review, so... Works out for everybody. If I can get it open. There we go. Alright. The black blister. I know Play Arts does a black blister. Doesn't stand out quite as nicely as this one, though, if you ask me. What's the situation here? Ah, just some tape. No worries, man. No worries. Alright, so on the back side, stuck to here, we have the instructions and the display stand and some batteries. It's always nice when a company includes batteries. Yeah, we'll leave that. We don't need to look at that right now. Let's pop the figure out and take a quick look-see. Also, the blister they have is a high-quality blister. It's not one of those ones that's going to shatter when you try to pull the figure out. I know we've seen that a few times, and this isn't one of them. So, it's just kind of tricky to get it open because the plastic is so sturdy. Alright, there we go. It's always best to not just rip it open because then all of these parts that are in here go flying about. And we don't want that to happen. Alright, I'm not going to peel off his plastic or anything like that for the time being, but you can still get a look at him. I know it's a little bit bright for you, but you can see. Maybe if I bring him back a little bit and then focus. Yeah, it's still kind of bright, but it's going to be a sweet figure, and I can feel all the die cast in there because he just came in from outside. All the die cast is extra cold. There we go. I'll be reviewing him very soon. We have some cool uh, effect parts. We'll definitely be looking at these. Very nice. Alright, so that's it for Mega Man X. Looks awesome. Excited to be reviewing that very soon. Thanks to Jared and those guys for producing such a high quality figure. Alright, too many things. Too many things. We're going to save this one because I think I know what that one is. This one is a Terminator figure. I just reviewed, which for you guys that hasn't happened yet. I think it's coming tomorrow. So yeah, none of these is going to be up tomorrow, or none of these are going to be up tomorrow. The uh, Ultimate Terminator 2 T-800 Arnold figure is going to be up tomorrow, I think. 
and this one is going to go with it at a different time. And what this is, is a lot of bubble wrap, so that'll come in handy. This is the new T-1000 from the new movie, which I kind of enjoyed. It might not be the best movie ever, but I enjoyed it. So this is the new T-1000. I'm going to get the, uh, the Guardian, the T-800, to go with this also very soon. And then I'll have the uh, T-2 stuff coming later once those actually come out. But this looks like a pretty cool figure, so I figured I'd... Figured I'd pick one up, so there's that. All right, let's uh, let's see what else we have. Oh, should we open it? I always, I don't know. I don't know if you guys like it. Let me know. Do you want me to actually open them in the unboxings or just open the big boxes and not open these? I don't know. I'm going to do it for now. You guys let me know what you think is best because I need input. I can't make all the decisions, guys. It weighs heavy, heavily on my whatever. I don't know. On my body. My body is ready, though. This looks like it's really made nicely. Alright, we have twisties. So, how many do we have? Not too many. I think we can get them out of the package without spending too much time on it. We have the alternate chest piece, which is pretty cool that they included that. Because if you guys aren't familiar with the T-1000, it has the ability to squish when it gets shot and then unsquish that's the technical term by the way you can look it up on skynet wiki if that's a thing it's probably on there NECA one of the few companies to still use the classic twist ties in the back which I do like uh, you just have to be careful if you yank them out you can sometimes leave marks on the figure so be careful about that it's always best to pull them out. I'll show you. The best way to undo these zip t or twist ties is to untwist them from the back, straighten them out a bit, just a little bit, and then don't yank them through from this end. Grab the loop and pull it through this way so that you don't get any plastic from the twist tie uh, rubbing against the plastic of the figure. Uh, it might just be common sense. I don't know, but it might help somebody out there. So. I'm happy to share what I've learned over the years. Alright, let's take a quick look at them. I'm not going to pull out all the accessories, but we're going to take a quick look. Very nice sculpting on this guy. I like it. The uh, little squish marks are a little odd, because they're not quite in the body, but they stick out a little bit, but it still does look pretty good. Let me lean away. You can see the figure. Very nice sculpting, nice likeness. Looks like the articulation's on point too, so we'll be reviewing that guy very soon. There's your T-1000. Let's, uh, let's open up more stuff. I don't know what kind of accent that was. You don't want me to do accents. I only have about two, and neither of them are any good. Alright, big box or little box? Big box, let's go big box. We're going to open the big one first. Because size does matter. Shipping invoice out of the way. Get the tape out of the way. All right. Big packaging. This one is one that I'm not sure how I feel about it in concept. I'm not sure it's a figure that needed to be made. But I had to get it, so let's take a look at it. This is... Play Arts Kai variant Black Widow, which, like I said, I mean, it's kind of cool that they're mixing it up a little bit by doing all of the Avengers. That's sarcasm. But Black Widow doesn't really... I mean, she just looks like she's wearing a leather suit still. So, it's not... She doesn't really benefit from the variant treatment. Let's let's crack her open and take a look-ski. Alright. I like the artwork. It's nice artwork. Most of the variant figures have nice artwork. Except for the Star Wars ones, they just it's kind of bland. Marvel ones look pretty good, DC ones look pretty good. Current DC ones, like the timeless Batman ones. Alright. I like the color scheme. Well, let me just get it out so you can see it.
looks like it's gonna be a good figure. It just might not be the most dynamic variant treatment that we've seen. Lots of little accessories, so they just went all over the place. All right. Probably the coolest ginger ever. Looks pretty good. Hair's a little bit light, but I think it's all right. Once we get her pose, it'll look good. But I like the black and red combo. Very Black Widow-esque. And then we have all the gold bits on there. It looks pretty cool. I like it. Articulation seems like it's not going to be a problem. I like the design so far. She does have high heels, but her feet are a little bit bigger. There you go. So it shouldn't be too big of a problem. I think it's going to be okay. Accessory-wise, we have some things. We have her little thing. What well, I don't know what that's called. That thing. And some guns and other stuff. Hands. Blast effects, which is a cool thing. Yeah, it'll be fun. I think it'll be a fun figure, so we'll be reviewing her very shortly, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And then the last figure, which I am most excited for, which you guys might be able to guess what it is. This is the size of the box. Not particularly large. Why am I out of focus? I clicked the wrong button. Now I'm in focus. Alright, so let's open this thing up. I am super psyched for this. I'm betting money this figure is going to be on the top 10 list. And I'm going to be super bummed out if it doesn't make it. But there's nothing I can do. If the figure is no good, the figure is no good. Alright, let's get this sucker opened. Possibly the coolest looking figure in all of existence. It's the Awakening Goku. Let's get a close up on that so you guys can take a look. New look for the packaging. I don't know about that. I like my packaging to be universal and to match. But I do like this packaging a whole bunch. This new look is very cool with the almost like comic panels going on on the side. A little cleaner look on the back. And a lot cleaner look on the front. I like it. I can't say I don't. I just do miss the uh, uniformity of the old packaging. I'm so pumped for this figure. I cannot wait. And from what I've seen, it's going to deliver. It's not going to disappoint. It doesn't come with a blast effect. That's like the only thing that's disappointing about it. But it's okay. That's probably really loud for you guys. I have the mic like right here, and so if I'm working on the table right here, it might be really loud. So I apologize. Or if I do this, that's really loud too. I won't do that. All right. Looks super good. Like super good. Like really, really good. There's no, there's no way for me to push stuff toward the camera without it being too bright. Unless, maybe if I put the lights... No, I don't think that'll work. You'll have to come back for the review. That's all there is to it. But he looks really good. Let me take a look at him real quick. Alright, abdominal section looks good. Shoulders, good. Head, good. New hip design. Definitely interesting to have a new hip design for the figure arts. Looks like it's going to be effective. Definitely. Um, but here's the thing. Ankles needed a rework. Did they do anything? No. Ankles are still standard double ball peg. Basic minimal movement. Kind of a bummer. Shoulders definitely got reworked though. That's a good thing. You guys can probably see it well enough. Like right here. Maybe I don't have to push it into the camera. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I leave this stuff right here so you can see it? Without being overly saturated, overly exposed? Or should I push it to the camera? I don't know. But this guy looks fantabulous. I can't wait to review him. Look at him up close. So much awesome going on here. No, uh... Ah, there is a thigh swivel. Uh, I don't want to get into it too much. I need you to come back for the review. Otherwise, I have failed. 
So that's it for the unboxing. We got Goku, Black Widow, T-1000, and Mega Man X. All awesome figures. Really psyched to be reviewing those. Next thing I need to talk about is my Mega Box giveaway is ending today, or rather tonight. 11.59, let's say midnight. Eastern Standard Time, tonight. So you need to enter today if you want to be part of it. And how you're going to do that is by, I'll put in the description again, the tweet that you have to uh, retweet, and then the Facebook post that you have to share. In addition to those, you have to follow on Twitter, my Twitter page, and the Mega Bloks Collector's Twitter page, or account, or whatever it's called. And on Facebook, you have to like my page, and the Mega Bloks one. So that's it. You just like the two pages, or follow them, or whatever it is, and retweet or share the post. That's all you have to do to enter. If you're in the U.S. or Canada, you're good. Enter, and then you might win. That's all you have to do. It's super easy. I'm giving away some awesome sets, some big sets, some small sets, really good stuff. So enter if you want to. That ends tonight. I wanted to talk about something else. What was it? Was it Batman and Superman? I think I might do that. Do you guys want me to talk about like movie trailers and stuff? I'm not a big fan of doing that because we don't really have much to talk about. The sense of a trailer is that they just tease at things. So I guess we could speculate, but I'm not really a fan of speculating that much. So if you guys want me to talk about that kind of stuff, we could do that. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention, my computer, the new one that I showed you guys, had an issue with Windows 10 not working with one of the drivers for the graphics card, so uh, I had to send it back. So I've been using my old computer, haven't been doing any video game stuff because the old computer can't handle it. So the new one's coming in tomorrow. So I might be able to pull off a stream Saturday night. I'll post it on Twitter and Facebook if I can. I don't know for sure. I might not have it set up in time. But I'm going to try. So keep an eye out for that. Make sure you enter the Mega Bloks contest tonight, by tonight, for your chance to win. Make sure you stick around for all of these. Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention, just remembered... My Akuma statue, you guys might have seen me post on Twitter or Facebook or wherever I did it. Uh, I cooked the top half. It's baked. It's done. I put the gloves on, sculpted his gloves up, tweaked everything the way I wanted to, and I baked him. So from the waist up, he's baked. I just finished his hair, his little top knot thing, even though it's not really a top knot. I uh, tweaked a few things on that, and I baked that today, so that's all good. Uh, I finished sculpting the lower legs. The upper legs don't need it because I'm putting pants on him, so you won't be able to see it anyway. Uh, sculpting the pants, no cloth. Uh, so I have to finish, I baked part of the sandals, I have to put the rest of the sandals on uh, after I finish the feet. Uh, I have to finish a few things here and there, but the, the legs are basically done also, I just need to put the pants on them. Uh, so once I do the pants, everything will be baked. It will be essentially done with the sculpt, but here's the thing. The way this stuff works is you have to layer the clay on in, in order to get the muscle groups and everything the way you want it unless you do the subtractive type of sculpting, which I'm not a huge fan of, so I layer it on. But when you do that, you end up with lots of little thin layers where you're smoothing everything out, where you're feathering it in, and occasionally when you cook it, it leaves little marks. Um, you can't tell they're there until you cook it, so you can't do anything about it, but it does leave little marks, and occasionally, like in the shoulder, for instance, where his one shoulder muscle is kind of like the main shoulder muscle right there, um, just from the cooking process, the clay gets really soft, even though the armature's holding it up. Some of the muscles might crack or stress or whatever, so there's like a little hairline cracks in certain places. So I have to patch up all those kind of things. Uh, normally, if I was going to cast this, you, I would cast it before cooking it. I probably wouldn't even cook it. Um, and then I wouldn't have to worry about those things, but since I'm not casting it, I'm making a one-off piece, I have to cook it and then patch up those little things. Then it's time for paint, and then it'll be done. Uh, the reason I'm not doing this stuff on video is because I got all the bulk stuff on video and that's fine, but now that I'm doing the more fine sculpt work, um, most of the, the video would be the camera shooting into the back of my head because I have to get in there and sculpt stuff. And it would take hours and hours and hours for you guys to actually see any real result from it because all of the work I'm doing is super fine and I can't pull the camera in that tight and it, it just doesn't work out. So I can't really show you the process for the detail work in some parts, but... I'm going to try to do something to show you guys where I'm at, at least before I paint it, probably. Because also, once I get the uh, bottom half ready, I have to connect it to the top half, which is going to be a trick, too. So, I, I don't know how much of that I can get on camera. I'm going to try, but I can't say for sure what's going to happen. So, stay tuned to Facebook and Twitter, and here, and I should be able to give you guys updates. And you'll definitely see it at least when it's done, but hopefully sooner than that. 
because it's looking pretty cool if I do say so myself. Okay, I'll stop rambling. Thanks for watching, guys. Again, stick around for all of these reviews. Contest ends tonight. Stream maybe Saturday night. And statue ongoing. New customs ongoing. More stuff like that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.